All right, join me in welcoming Barb Montgomery with Heritage Bank and Amy, of course, with Vallejo, no stranger to this studio or the show. I'm so sorry you guys are having to wake up with these very bright lights on you this morning. How are you doing so far? Good. Yeah. Thank you for having us, as, yes. as always. We, we love being here. Yeah, I've always, you know, as always, we love having you Thank ladies you. here. Thank you. And we're here to talk about this wonderful Creations of Hope art exhibit. So, you know, I read about it a little bit on your website, and I actually had a beautiful statement here. It's a mission of raising awareness of mental health through the exhibition of art is the mission of mm -hmm. this exhibit here. So do you mind explaining what's going to be happening from August 8th through the 18th? Well, we are going to take over the beautiful lobby at Heritage Bank. Yes. Uh, Barb, for the fifth year, has invited us back um, to have an art display. Um, and uh, the art will only um, not only be there, you know, for viewing, but it can be purchased as well. And it's just a beautiful location um, to host um, these artists that are from the community. Yeah. These are community artists that are passionate about mental health. So they might have a mental health um, issue. They may ha be a family member of someone with a mental health issue, or they just may be an advocate for mental health care. And so um, whatever reason, you know, we, we don't care. We're yeah. just happy that they're, they've chosen to participate in the art exhibit. And the art is always so amazing. I think Barb can tell you a little bit more about that. Oh. <laughs> This is our fifth year, and we just we love the partnership. I mean, it's just been so uh, special to all of us. But of course. Um, they set up on Monday. Uh, they come in, and they just they Vallejo has such a way of displaying the beautiful art, and then they always have a little bio beside it to kind of give mm -hmm. you an idea about the person. And and we welcome anybody to just come in. We're eight to five, uh, Monday through Friday. And uh, like Amy said, you can buy it. Um, some people like to keep it there. We put a sold on it because they want to still mm -hmm. let people see it. So still show like it this. and display it, right? Yeah, so for other people yes. to enjoy as well. Yes. How wonderful! And they have jewelry, uh, ceramic. I mean, it's just amazing. Wow the talent we have. So it's not just, you know, paintings, it's no. it's it's mm. sculptures, it's no. things like oh, that yeah. as well too. Jewelry, it's multiple different baskets, forms of art. Woven baskets, woven baskets, oh, yeah. great. Um, all kinds of different things. You just yeah. don't know really what you're going to see yeah. from year to year. Yeah. yeah, and of course that money though goes towards helping you all at Vallejo and with your mission, right? Do you mind expanding on that a little bit well, more Well, actually, um, we keep 30% mm -hmm. of yeah. anything that's sold just to help us um, with the exhibit itself and to do future exhibits. And then the artists themselves, they receive 70% of oh, the actual wonderful. sales. So it is a wonderful thing for them. It's a real boost in their confidence. And uh, boy, they are excited when they see that sold sign. Yeah, yes. I mean, that's you know, something that you put so much effort and time mm -hmm. into and mm -hmm. other people are enjoying it just as much as you probably enjoyed making it. So it's a probably really gratifying experience for mm -hmm. those artists. Mm -hmm. How can people participate? Do you mind giving me all of the details just one last time? so people know where they can go and, and sure. know when they can view the art? Oh, yeah. Uh, Heritage Bank, we're a local bank, and we love Topeka. Uh, we're at 30, 3024 the Southwest Wanamaker, but 30th and Wanamaker, right behind Blue Moose, Starbucks, big, beautiful building right behind it. Uh, we're open from 8 to 5. Um, just come on in. Uh, I think I'll have some cookies there to entice people, <laughs> you know. <laughs> a woman after my own heart here. I love it. <laughs> that always kind of breeds people in. But, um, yeah, and then if they want to buy it, uh, we have several staff members that uh, they come and see, and they could take it home with them. But on the 18th, which is our last day for it, uh, Heritage Bank invites uh, the artists and their families oh, how wonderful. and the board from Vallejo to come and have lunch with us and to see these faces when they walk in they look for their art right yeah. away and when they know it got sold or just meeting the face with the bio it's just um, every year it's 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 very rewarding to anybody and everybody that meets these um, Fine people. It seems like a very full circle moment that you're it describing is. right there. Definitely beautiful. We'll have all of the information, of course, posted online yes. after the show so that people know where they can go to get the art and they can maybe even, you know, check out. Do you guys have any pictures of previous years or anything like that, too, or anything? No, I don't think so. Because, no. well, hey, I mean, new art is new art, so yeah. it's <laughs> new stuff's going to be coming <laughs> yes, in. Yes. People can go out and uh, experience it for themselves right. and uh, make their way over to Heritage Bank. Yes. All right. Thank well, you. Thank you, ladies. Thank you.